Hello everyone, and welcome to Alien Isolation. I'll be honest, you guys have been suggesting this for a long time, and the thing that finally pushed me over the edge to play it is A, that uh, Alien Romulus, which is essentially said to be the movie of the game, or at least in tone, is coming out this summer. And also because I just recently saw the re-release for the 45th anniversary of the original movie in theaters, and it made me rediscover what makes Aliens so scary to begin with. And all that is present right here on the menu screen. For the longest time, I thought of Alien as being little more than a slasher movie with an alien as the slasher. But seeing it again, I realized there's so much more to it than that. It's the vastness of space, the immense fear of the unknown, the wonder that comes with that, and, well, just the feeling of being preyed upon. I don't know, it's just so crazy to me to think of those primal fears mixing with this advanced technological sci-fi and exploration. And so, all this comes together to create what is said to be among the scariest survival horror games ever made. And much like Amnesia the Bunker that would come out way later, this isn't just a walking simulator with some built-in jump scares, it is actually very gameplay focused. We'll have to craft, scavenge, and even use the ship's systems all to keep ourselves alive just a little bit longer against an enemy that we cannot actually kill. It's literally a game of wits, a game of cat and mouse, in this enclosed space where, well, as the tagline said, no one can hear a scream and no help is coming. For that reason, uh, I've been speaking to my girlfriend Elster about this, who played it a while back, and she actually advised me to play on hard. The recommended way to experience the game, challenging and terrifying, because, well, the way she put it, I won't get the real experience if I'm not having to make tough decisions with my resources. And unfortunately, I could not argue with that logic, so I'm going to be breaking the norm for these series a little bit. And do it that way, I am so going to regret this. And yes, I want to start a new game. I played it a bit when it came out, uh, but I never finished it. Also, if you enjoy this part and don't want to wait for more, if you subscribe to the Patreon at any tier, you can see every episode that's currently available right now. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane. Lambert. Parker. Brett. Ash. And Captain Dallas are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's 
proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport. I facility. know what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrents if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. And as all alien stories, begins with us awaking from cryo sleep. Uh, and this is so cool. Uh, right from the very beginning, you get the impression that there is such a love for the source material. Everything looks exactly as it did in the movies, and I just think that's so cool. I mean, look around. A big part of the atmosphere of the original was that retro-future aesthetic. How, even though we're a space-faring civilization, and we're still using these computers that look like they're straight out of the 70s trying to look futuristic. Explore the Torrens. Well, quite notably, we're actually alone here. Has something gone wrong already? Now, those of you who have seen the first two movies, uh, I will not be holding back on spoilers for those. This being about 20 years after the events of the original Alien, well, we've got another 30 or 50 until the Ellen Ripley would turn up uh, and be actually recovered, so the events of this game, unless they change something quite drastically, are kind of a foregone conclusion, but this is looking a little bit messy. And the more I look around and don't find anyone, the more suspicious I become of this awakening. Use registration points manually to save your progress. They will warn you if enemies are nearby. No way! Okay, so... All right, we've got a save system here where it actually takes time to save and during which we can actually look all around. <laughs> Just imagine the tension of getting through a difficult area, finally seeing a save point, and then being like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, and then just like looking around. That's really cool. All right, but I think I saw a locker that we could potentially interact with. Get dressed. Oh, we do actually have our full body. Now let's get down to business. Where are we heading next? Let's see what we got here. Just missed you. Verlaine, you on the lookout for the navigational officer? I have a friend that's just lost his ship and he's looking for work. I can vouch for him. He's got good papers. Same old story. The Megacorps undercut him. Picked up all his clients. Contracts are getting harder to come by for the smaller companies, and I'm thinking of getting out myself while I still have something to sell. Sounds like you're doing okay, though. Dropped by the docks and heard you just shipped out. Sebastopol Station. What a... hmm. Still. I hear well in Yutani pay well. 
Good luck to you. If you can't beat him, right? Let's catch up when you get back. Blaine. Also, I'm calling it, that dude we talked to in the beginning is an android. The British guy in these movies is always an android. I don't even know if that's supposed to be a secret right now, but it's, it's gotta be the case. These junctions are the freakiest part of these ship's designs. That moment where you're standing right in the middle and... Oh, there's the med bay. <laughs> and this is like a perfectly faithful recreation of the med bays from the movies. Ah, Ripley. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. Actually, wait, hang on. That's <laughs> uh, I always forget to turn on subtitles. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities, a well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo. Yes, M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm just looking around and taking all this in, especially with the first movie fresh in my mind. It's like my brain is overlaying all the things that have happened in this exact space right in front of me. But to have it fully explorable, able to look at all the details, this is what makes licensed games work when they're made by experienced developers who have a real love for the source material who will go back and look at all these references to make sure that everything is right. Like a collapsible wheelchair against the wall. I actually wonder if Sigourney Weaver didn't actually record new stuff for the beginning there. But look at these hallways, so dark and these gulfs in the middle. The ceiling so low above our head, making us feel like we have to duck as we walk through. These are the little things that make the experience what it is. Not to mention the ship's systems themselves jump-scaring you. Wow. Uh, you're already out. Taylor, good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's morning either. Sorry. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Waylon Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. I realize your mother has been missing for 15 years, and, and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. All personnel to the bridge. Approaching Sevastopol Station. Looks like we're up. Okay, but should I check this out first? Uh... To N. Taylor regarding the Nostromo incident, well, in Utani file. Hey, Taylor, I got your case request. It may take me a while to dig out the files, and the incident happened before my time at the company, so I'm a bit fuzzy on the details. In 2122, the whale and Utani cargo vessel, the USCSS Nostromo, went missing. No trace was found of its cargo or crew. Apart from a new science officer, the rest of the crew had worked together before, seven in all. And there is the cast of the film, including Warren Officer Ripley. Well, and Yutani lost a lot of money from it. It's a bit of a black mark in the history. Get the impression they don't like to mention it. Anyway, I'll try and find the files later. Clarify some of the points. If you want, I can help you go through them. Maybe some of your luck will rub off on me. I hear upstairs have an eye on you for something big. Saw. Yeah, don't like to talk about it. They know exactly what happened, too. See, if I remember rightly, they actually sent the Nostromo off of its initial course in order to go retrieve uh, samples from this signal that was uh, being intercepted. And of course, the rest is history. 
Of course, in the end, Ripley was able to read those orders directly and found out that they did not care about returning the crew so much as returning the samples. Uh, Torrens Manifest. Outbound and return transportation for Whale and Yutani Retrieval Team to Sebastopol Station. Uh, team consists of Samuels, Ripley, and Taylor. Uh, interstellar Communications Antenna, Long Haul Hypersleep Chamber, Commercial Passenger Cargo Ship Retrofitted from a Tow Rig. That sounds like the kind of thing that seems insignificant now, but may be useful later. It's retrofitted from a tow rig. Retains operational heavy-duty tow umbilical. Okay. Hope I didn't miss the docking. Hope you all had a restful journey. The Torrens is in very good order for an old M-Class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how we doing? RCMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep comms so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. Excellent. Oh my, that is so cool. Look at this. Oh, and there in the back, his mother access for the ship's onboard AI. This ah, oh, this is so. Mm. And it's not just, look, it's not just the environments that are so detailed to make this feel so retro. I've even noticed there's a bit of chromatic aberration to the visuals. It almost looks like the game is running on like a camera or a lens from the 1970s. All right, collect briefing. Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is a commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sevastopol Traffic Control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale and Yutani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers portside over. <laughs> Station's comm seem pretty screwed up, so I fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option, and it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you.
So there you have it, even for all the horrors that are going to be present in this game, it has not forgotten the dangers involved in simply being here. I guess that sweat on the inside of the glass, it's claustrophobia on top of claustrophobia in this suit. Find help, but it sounds like they're already having problems. And if they have the flight recorder for the Nostromo, well, who knows how what we all know is here got on board. It is very dark. Okay, good. I was worried we'd have a power outage situation. Alright, let's quickly save. The fact that we didn't hear from either of our partners right after that is probably not a good sign, but then again, it seems like communications tech is also kind of lagging in the past in this universe. And how did we not have any contact with the station beforehand? There's gotta be... Additional complications when you consider this kind of difference. Oh, the building is on fire! Oh my god. I feel like on a space station that's a much bigger deal than in other locations. Uh, do I have to do something about that? Wait, if I press tab... Okay, we can see a map of the areas we've seen already. It says search the spaceflight terminal for help. We can climb into the vents. We can climb into the vents. Oh, the best place to be. <laughs> Look at those shadows that fall over this whole thing as the fan blades pass in front of them. Yep, this is what this is what alien is. Just crawling into increasingly dark and cramped spaces as an already claustrophobic area seems to shrink even more as we go. Wait, what was that? Okay, I can hold control to lean. I can peek up and over, and crouch down, alright. So we actually have a lot of control over our own body, which goes a long way towards immersion. Collect sensor. Uh, do we do something with that, or maybe it's just a crafting component? Alright, there's one right here. Uh, decommissioning. So, boys and girls, you probably heard the whispers about Sebastopol by now, and I can confirm it's official. Sebastopol is being decommissioned. I'll go over with each of you what this means in regards to your contracts and next placement, but for now, we still have a job to do. The suits want this done with the skeleton crew, which means we'll only be getting a few outside contractors to help. But it does mean overtime. I recommend taking what you can while it's available. I should point out that the decommission does not mean lucky dip. Everything here has to be accounted for, and I will personally escort anyone found helping themselves to equipment to Marshal Waits. Chief. Looks like somebody put together some makeshift walkways. 
Ugh. And not very well. Flare. This will help. Uh, press Q to open the radial inventory and mouse to. Oh, okay. Wow. That's a lot of radial dials. Presumably, that's a lot of equipment. Press R to activate. I guess I can aim and throw as well. Oh uh, yeah, this game has the right idea. It understands that Alien was first and foremost a vibes movie, and it aims to recreate those vibes. Blinded on one side by the flare and just barely able to see on the left <laughs> as a trade-off to not being able to see at all. Keep moving. Bonding agent, okay. But I guess I can't take the flare with me. Well, I'm happy to be out of there. Scrap. Yeah, this is looking mighty dead spacey. Hello? Anyone here? That's kind of funny, because on the one hand, that's what you say when you're looking for someone, but it's not what you do when you want to be heard. But right now, you're questioning whether you really want to be heard, aren't you? Forgotten. Trust no one. Tomorrow, no... Wait, tomorrow together, no future. Don't dead, open inside. Oh, I have to tap. Oh, it's a hand start generator. Well, I'm sure I'll never have to do that in a tense moment. See what's in this terminal. Moved our stash. Langley, if you're looking for our stash, I've moved it. You left it right out in the open where anyone could have taken it. Jesus, do you know what I had to do to get it? I've hidden it in one of the storerooms. You should be able to find it. The code is 0340. Don't worry. No one goes down to the terminal anymore. Not after what happened. Also, we're out of meds and low on water, so you're going to need to get some. It's your turn. Maybe it'll teach you to take care of our stuff in the future. Anna. So whatever's going on here, it's been going on for quite a while. Goodbye from Siegson. Public notice, the decommissioning of Sebastopol Station. We've had a long journey together, but sadly it's coming to an end. Siegson Corp would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you who worked and lived at Sebastopol over the years and hopes that Siegson has helped to make it a productive and rewarding environment. Our investment and belief in the station has never wavered. Be assured that Siegson's Apollo Central AI and Working Joe androids will be there to serve Sebastopol until the last rivet is removed. We wish you all the very best for the future. After all, Sebastopol isn't just a station, it's people. Well, apparently it's not entirely people since there's a whole stock of bots working here. Kill the power. Harris, Turner, get back here now. We have a track somewhere in engineering. Lock the terminal down, kill the power, and don't forget your reports. Make them thorough. We're gonna need our paperwork to be bulletproof when this shit's over. Wait's up. Power junction D13 departures. Restore power to departures. Let's get out of here. 
people. But they don't seem interested in me. Should I follow them? Every instinct says don't follow them and don't go the way they were running from. But it's a let's play and I have to see what I can see. Oh, we've got those ironic pre-recorded messages playing in the background. But it seems like they locked the door behind them. Alright, let's get through here. place is falling apart. I wonder, do I need to duck under this? It would seem like I should. Uh, a med kit, uh, an SCJ in injector. Oh, I found a blueprint. Press Q to use the crafting menu. Uh, so if we have all the components, we can hold left mouse button to... Oh, wow, wow, wow! This is a whole lot of things. So we go like that, that, and that. Oh, we have to physically place these things. And click there to craft. And now we've got a med kit. So it's not complicated, but there sure is a whole lot going on on the screen when that happens. What the hell happened here? Ooh. That's one heck of a view. It almost reminds me of like an abandoned airport terminal or something. Wait, something... T Wait, something lied to us. Waits lied to us? Door is locked. Wait. Whoa, wait, wait. USCSS Nostromo. Is that the flight log? I don't know how many people would have been here to begin with, but it is so weird to see a futuristic space station, uh, not only in an abandoned state, but looking like any city you'd find on the ground. Whoa. So we've got to find some way to let them know that we're alive in here. Damn it. That seems like more than a coincidence. Are they closing those shutters in response to the Torrens looking for us? They mentioned that the station's onboard AI is still working. Is it maybe trying to contain all this? And by extension, now containing us? Restore power. Okay, so that's our first goal then. Cred up amusements. I keep pressing control, but that just makes me lean. <laughs> a couple old air hockey tables. And a flare. All right, let's get this going. Oh, look at this! Oh, we can actually see the diffusion of the light underneath the underneath the tarps. This game is just so dedicated to atmosphere, and I love it. It's capturing all the subtleties that make this what it should be. This life for rent. Yeah. Okay, something was just here to 
send that light swinging. Actually, now would be a very good time to remember that we should always be looking up. There's a log on the table right there. Okay, hopefully some information has been left behind. One issue is that it seems we can't stagger our saves, so we're going to have to really consider our moves carefully. Julia Jones, today's update. After numerous demands, Marsha Waits finally called a public meeting to address the rumors that have been circulating on Sevastopol. But instead of the answers we wanted, he continued to be evasive, and after only a few minutes, he and his team were pelted by projectiles from an angry crowd. A gun was fired, there was panic, and now Waits and what's left of his team are forcibly ejecting us from the terminal. Feels like we're on our own now. So, a classic corporate cover-up. The higher-ups probably knew what was going on long before everyone else. Oh, well, we can crawl into the vent. I was wrong about looking up, but we are going to be looking down. Let's see what this terminal has to say. Uh, pulling the plug. Zoe, I'm sorry, but I won't need you to come in next week. As you know, the store's been in trouble for some time now, and I couldn't hold off the creditors any longer. There's just no one coming to Sebastopol anymore. It's not just us, either. It sounds like the whole station is in the red, and they're pulling the plug. Going to sell it off for scrap, I guess. I was speaking to one of the engineers, and he reckons they'll announce it soon. I'm telling you this so you don't stick around looking for another job. Sebastopol's finished. Time to move on. Harper. To all spaceflight employees. In the interest of public safety and the prevention of panic, it must be made clear to all potential passengers that there are currently no scheduled fight flights leaving Sebastopol, nor ships available. The Colonial Marshals are investigating problems on station and will update accordingly. From the Office of Marshal Waits. Ah, that makes sense. So Waits is a liar, and, well, I guess we're seeing the results of that. They knew something was up and didn't let anyone leave. What is Apollo? Apollo is the central AI that monitors and provides guidance for all the Siegs and Working Joes on Sebastopol. Apollo also oversees all communications on the station. So wherever you are, you know you're in safe hands. Siegs and tomorrow together. That explains some of the ironic graffiti on the wall. <laughs> uh, the world building is very deep here, which is only fitting considering uh, how funny it is that the androids are called Working Joes only a few years before Blade Runner 2049 came out. Okay, I wanted to see if I could open this now. No, but this right here says Ion Torch Required. So that engineer expertise is going to be put to use at some point and we'll be able to make our way and maybe even backtrack to places we've already been. Now, I had said before that I played this around the time it came out, but I never finished it. So not only do I not know where this is all going, it's been so long, I actually don't remember pretty much the first thing about this. So it essentially is a blind playthrough. But we've got to crawl into the vents. I'm taking it on faith that we're still in that early game where it's expositing to us rather than putting us in danger. Of course, it is already giving us crafting components, so... Maybe that's what it wants me to think. Is that just the ship shaking or is there something down here? Well, if there is something, it would have had to have squeezed through that grate. What are you, some kind of luggage robot? Nope, we can use you. Oh, we can push you out of the way. Ah, and climb up into here. Maybe it's for the best, although this thing does seem to be quite electrified. Maybe it's just ambient electricity? Maybe it's for the better that this place was closing down, not doing well economically. I mean, 
If anything, that just means it presumably minimized the number of people on board, right? Then again... The but there are still some here. It's almost like we're the sequel to a horror movie that we'll never get to see. Like, we're the person who shows up afterwards only at the very tail end of whatever went on here on a large scale. But we have found... I was gonna say we found our first body. Amend that to plural. But we need a maintenance check. Okay, so we're gonna have to find the first of our tools for taking this place apart. There is a door over there. Oh, man. See, there's probably no reason why there needs to be a low fog hanging over half the areas in this game. But it sure does look cool. This is an airlock, so I imagine we're going to want to be careful with our doors. Well, a little bit of power is probably not a bad thing. Although I do wonder if there's not going to be, like, a limited supply of power, a reason why we don't want to activate these all the time. At least this way we can see what we're doing. We may not have met the alien in game yet, but I certainly know what a xenomorph is beyond that. And I know that darkness is death. Okay, that looks like some sort of workshop. Probably a lot of useful things in there. Unfortunately, we still need the maintenance check. And there's still a whole lot of darkness to go around. Wait, is that a gun? You've, you've got, like, some kind of tool or weapon. But we need an ion torch. Okay. My god. Alright, well, sorry to the corpse whose head just got rained on. Uh, can we search the garbage cans? No. At the marshals, who are presumably the body in charge of this situation... Have you got any tools for us? Anything at all will help us out. Oh no. Oh, we've got the ability to hide in lockers, which means it's something I think we're going to be using quite extensively. Uh, we can save here. Whole back area. Gotta be tools back here somewhere. Something we can use. Storage area is promising. Oh, fuck. Yeah, sorry, I broke sequence a little bit, but also you could have had that reaction to the body bags out there. And the store is not gonna open. But perhaps we can go through the creepy James Bond vents. Honestly, I don't know how I'm not being electrocuted by this. These are just the atmosphere sparks. They were ordered by the crew who built this. I mean, really, if you're going to go to space, what are you even doing if you don't have these installed? Hello? I want to make a complaint to the, the highest authority, okay? My name is Zachary Watson. That's Watson. You get that? My complaint is this. Fucking marshals. They should be protecting us. It's their job. Something's on this station with us, and no one knows what it is. No one fucking knows. They put braces on the doors. Locked down. You know, like to keep something out. I'm fucking terrified, man. I'm fucking. Shit. It's so cold. I don't think this fucking thing even works. 
Well, at least you've given us the gift of a tag. Can we maybe use that as a key card? And the maintenance jack. I think I need this more than you do. So a lot of these people died not knowing what was going on. Even when it's clearly no longer in their best interest to keep this a secret, they're still doing what the company wants, which is on brand for this universe. Hold a right and left mouse button and press A. Ah, simulating us putting both arms into it. I do like that. I like how we can actually like feel the force required to do something. Soundtrack just made a sound like I should be worried about something that just happened. Let's do this again. Left and right mouse and press A. And we are now officially capable of dismantling all of the security measures that they had put in place. Maybe I'm helping my survival or maybe the people here aren't going to be too happy about this. Uh, bonding agent and a sensor and an audio log. Look, if you can't even tell me your name, we're going to be here a hell of a long time. I just want to know about your boss. He's got you all into a lot of trouble. Someone's going to be accountable. I'm going to make damn sure someone's accountable. No? Tough guy, huh? Turner, turn off the tape. Maybe our friend here is just shy. So now that raises the question, is this before or after that whole situation? Maybe trying to deal with someone trying to steal resources? Or even just figure out what's going on? I just heard some very distinct thumping. Some very spooky thumping that I do not like one bit. Uh, but before we go through those main doors, there were some more of these things that we could jack open uh, down the other way. And I am the kind of person who, when I play a survival horror game, I want to make sure that I am as geared up as I can possibly be uh, before continuing with the main story right here. I wonder if there's going to be, like, an inventory management aspect to this. Like, can we carry all tools at all times? See, it's so brilliant using this property for this style of gameplay. I mean, I'm sure it's also partly inspired by Dead Space, but it seems like a lot of the tools at our disposal are going to be really engineering equipment tools. Which only makes sense, like her mother before her, ingenuity is going to be the way we survive. Here we go. Oh no, it's a cutscene. Things are not so good here. Something blue just now. Rocked this whole place. I saw it. But lady, that's the least of our problems. Yeah? Yeah. Something's on this station. Something you wouldn't believe. Like what? A killer. You get it? Okay. What's your name? Axel. I was boarding with two colleagues. EVA. We got separated by the blast. 
Can you help me find them? Why? Because you seem to know your way around. No, I mean, why? What's in it for me? A place on the ship. How did I know I can trust you? I need to find comms. I need to contact my ship. This is your lucky day. Let's go, sweetheart. Seeks and comms is in the Sistex Bayer. It's quite a distance, but we can get to a transit through the freight area. But watch yourself. We can get into all sorts of trouble there, okay? All right, so <laughs> the funny thing about this is we come in and are terrified by this crazed survivor. On, I don't want to stick around here long. And I get the feeling that uh, we're going to be that crazed survivor by the end of all this. And actually, hopefully, we're made of the right stuff to keep a cooler head. Because something tells me this guy is not long for this earth. Had to keep my distance. Can't take any chances. Now the question is, are you going to be a game-long ally, or are you going to be more of a tutorial Stick expositor? What? Hey, don't move. Oh, oh, okay, okay. We're not looking for trouble. Who are you? I'm John. This is Ringo. They're just some assholes. We haven't got time for this. Come on, Jana. We're trying to get to comms. Can you help us? We don't need their help. Don't tell them anything. Look, I've got the elevator working. Jana, let's go, okay? I... I'm sorry. Good luck. So nobody here is particularly interested in cooperation. What the hell was that about? Why are you so damn aggressive? Everyone's running shit scared. Keeping to their own. Safer that way. Safer? Safer how? Is this a result of the resources dwindling, or is there some other reason? This ship of yours is the real McCoy. Yeah, in fact, I'm so confident. Don't look at what I'm doing right now. Hold up. Let me get the elevator. Allow me. Place is old. Needs a special touch. Well, what are you waiting for? Hit the button. An elevator with seating. I mean, it might be cramped, but it's nice. I'd appreciate it if you told me what the hell was going on right now. Listen, Bob. When we get to the ship, we can kick back, braid each other's hair, and chat all you want. Yeah, when we get to my ship, I need to know what's going on right fucking now. Fine. Like I said, there's a killer. A killer? What does that even mean? I ain't seen it, but it's here. Picking us off one by one. What are you saying? A psycho? A person? No. Something else. A monster. We haven't even gotten started yet, and the person who seemingly knows the most of what's going on still can't tell us what it is. safe down here for how long what if they come for us then we shoot the crap out of them now shut up you're making me nervous so we're actually gonna have to hide from human enemies as well trouble we'll have to go random follow me I mean that's interesting they talked about the onboard AI the androids and also paranoid people who don't want to share. Will you please let me in? Can I get in, please? Hello? Okay, thank you. I had to back up to get in. Friends of yours? I've had run-ins with those guys before. They don't like strangers. Even nice guys like me. I'm shocked. I ain't pulling your chain, darling. You want to go and say hello? It's your funeral. Those guns aren't for show. Someone should be doing something. They are. It's called surviving. 
So we're actually gonna have to deal with human enemies. Everyone's turning on each other. The fear, it makes people crazy. I've noticed. You've been living here? What can I say? My butler's on holiday. Grab what you need. You don't know when you'll get another chance. I guess everyone needs their own little hidey hole. Been hunkered down here for a week now, waiting for a ship. Waiting for you, I guess. So at least a you week this has been going on. You. you should take that flashlight over there. Okay, yes, sure very much thank you. But they do run out of batteries, so that's something to consider. careful not to flash it around. We don't want to get caught. Let's go. This way. So it said hold F to reload the flashlight batteries. What there now? we go. I'll watch the vent. There's another vent right here somewhere. I'm at it so I wouldn't forget it. Use your flashlight to find the vent entrance. How about you look around? We're not going anywhere until you find that vent. Okay, and now would also be a good time to gauge just how long these batteries last. Okay, well there's an ID tag right here. Still not sure what they do exactly. Some more flashlight batteries, although it doesn't seem to tell us how many we have exactly. And yeah, for as much atmospheric lighting as this game has, here we go. There is uh, still something to be said for wandering around in the dark. Let's turn that off. Yeah, wow, wow, that did not last very long at all. See, got it covered. Doesn't look like it wants to open. But all we have to do is hit that button. Maybe it can be used to open from one side. It's not smart to stay here too long. So presumably the flashlight will attract attention if we're trying to hide from enemies. Does the xenomorph see light? That's another is question. Really? Because in the movie, the vents were death. Torrent, so that's your ship, huh? Quiet. I hear something. What's something? There we go. Yeah, I hear you. Will do. Gotta go meet the others. Something's going down. There's always something going down. Come on. We don't want to piss him off. You feel safe? I sure as hell don't. And you're equipped with shotguns. Can't wait, let's take any opportunity we can to save. Doesn't seem like they're too much of an issue now, but yeah. It, it seems like between humans and presumably the androids that it quite ominously said we're still around. Well, we're going to be dealing with a lot more threats than just the alien itself. What are they gathered around? Hold up. What's the emergency? Someone else has been here. Everyone, stay alert. Keep your guns tight. Shoot anyone you don't know. Stick around while I check our stock. How are you holding up? You okay? They're armed. Too many of them to take on. Take on? We still got to get through there. The door at the end. Try a distraction. The generator. If that went down, they'd have to check it out. You're smaller than me. You'll make less noise. Great. It Which seems like turning out the power is a I bit of a double-edged sword. Decide to help yourself a little? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Hey, he's been with me the whole time. We're missing food, ammo, meds. 
If it's not one of us, then we were right. Someone's been in here. This is no good. We're supposed to be secure down here. Damn it. What about the lock Joe rigged up? I've just come from there. Sealed tight. Eyes open. Keep your guns ready. Someone's gonna have to tell the boss. Boss? Should I... He's a goddamn store clerk. Yeah? Maybe you think you could do better. He's not saying that. Okay, just there's saying vent access right here. Saying. And that's probably to gonna be our means of escape. That is, if you could keep your trap from running for five Let's seconds. shut this off. Keep the place in darkness, though not entirely. And we're out. Is this turned itself off? No. Somebody's here. Check it out. Everyone with me. Problem is now I can't see anything either. Okay, out and to the right. Presumably that's what we need. Nice yep, one. you just go ahead and run nice through one. here. I thought Let's I was being stealthy, Still but you just by. do your own thing. So that graffiti was right. Trust no one. The way this environment has devolved. You know, I, I was thinking, if there's going to be so many people around, are they all just here? So we have someone to watch die to prove the aliens might? Well, no. We're still no less isolated. How much further? Nearly there. Transit's just up ahead. Let's just hope your ship's still there. I don't like how you're hanging back like that. Well, not quite what you're expecting yet. I'm not even supposed to be here. My shipping out papers were for a week ago. Which is the exact length of time you've been in this situation. Or at least the minimum length of time. A blind eye. S. I managed to get my hands on that stuff I was talking about. Chief won't even notice the stock missing. Things always get lost when a station's closing down. Don't worry about customs, either. Sinclair has told his men to turn a blind eye. They'd probably be too busy goofing off or taking backhanders to notice anyway. You get what you pay for, I guess. Belly. And two-man rule. Nearson, Leonard, you're both first shift on the door, so read carefully. Putting this together wasn't easy, and we don't want invaders... Putting this together wasn't easy, and we don't want intruders getting in because you didn't read the instructions properly. This here is what you call a two-man rule lock. This means it needs two to open the door simultaneously from two different consoles. Most of us don't know each other, so this is the safest way of making sure everything stays secure, and none of us decide to head off on their own with our stuff. When you're on shift, take it in turns to keep guard and notify the other if one of us needs to be let in or out. This means just us, no one else. No matter how much anyone begs, and no matter what sob story they try and pull. I was with a group before, and we got soft. And now I'm the only one left. Trust no one. Joe. It seems like stealing was kind of the rule around here, so... I guess it takes thieves to protect against thieves. Until now. Inventory. No one is to take anything or mark it off the list without talking to me first. Aspirin, canned food, cereal, water, toothpaste, cigarettes, toilet paper, industrial tape, med kits, and powdered milk. Notes. Running low on ammunition. Zoe managed to pick up some prescription drugs, all addressed to the same person. Guess they didn't need them anymore. Or maybe she found them on that person? Okay, you gonna let me through? Or maybe he's just as confused as I am for why I'm not moving ahead. Okay, now there is a two-man lock system. Let's power it down. The assholes have cut us off. Got it. We need to activate both consoles at the same time to open it. I'll do this one. You go to the one on the other side. Okay. All right, let's split up, gang. I think this is where our cooperation ends. We hardly knew you, Axel. Uh, where is this? Ready. On three. One, two, three. Axel, behind you. What? Uh, uh. 
Uh, can I go help you? Press and hold shift to run at the risk of attracting something. And bang. Not what I had in mind. Fuck. Let's go. The others are on their way. We need to go. No. Hey, you bastards. Move it. Okay, run, run, run. Shoot him. Shit. I think he's dead. They killed him. Yeah, hey, don't lump me in with this. Come on. You killed that guy because he was going to kill me. You saved my life. <laughs> This is about survival. Do you understand? Hear something. I hear something. Axel. Fuck if I go on me. Uh, what the hell was that thing? maybe we can still save him? Actually, on second thought, I don't know if they're still chasing me, so Axel would want me to go on and live my life. And it seems the protagonist here agrees. Uh, we can't get in here. Looks like we can get in here. Oh, call. Uh,. Oh, that's an... that's a thing. That's, okay. <laughs> I don't want to waste my battery. But I also... I think I can hear it. Oh, <laughs> we just have to wait? That sounds close. That sounds very close. Should I be getting away from this door? Come on, I'm just waiting for those to open so I can make a dash for it. Okay, why am I so slow? Why am I so slow? Just get in. Just get in. Is there a button I have to push? I have no idea if I was in danger or not, but it sure felt like it. God, that is brilliant. Just have us sitting in the dark, looking back, afraid to even use our flashlight. But we're away from it now. I, I was going to say, at least we're in a much bigger area to hide from it than the Nostromo, but... Having only recently seen the movie, it's easy to forget that the Nostromo was huge. Station serving Seeks and Communication Technologies, Tech Support Services, and Gemini Exoplanet Solutions. So is this going to act as our hub area? Wait, access rewire? Yep, I think this is our hub. All of these are actually accessible. Oh, but save, save, save. That's what we need. And now, we're just left alone with the knowledge of what we just saw. All, right, all we can do is hide in these. They're not <laughs> lootable, but from this angle, we can see remnants of the people these lockers belong to. That is a nice little touch. Okay, what do we do to rewire these panels? I'm seeing a mini game in our future. Use rewire to toggle systems on and off in your surrounding area. Systems share a limited power supply. Switching systems off will provide the power to switch others on. Oh, so it is limited. Study the map on the right-hand screen with mouse to check the position of local systems. Access new areas, create diversions, and experiment with Sebastopol's systems to help achieve your goal. Okay, so this is the speaker. 
which is not really what I need right now. Well, there's an unstable system active. Can we turn that off? Because it doesn't seem like that's something we really need. There we go. Okay. But forget this for now. So we've got transit to Sebastopol Spaceflight Terminal. That's where we came from. Uh, Simed Tower. Solomon's Habitation Tower. And Engineering Platform. So, yep, I definitely think this is our hub for the entire game. Uh, workplace Solutions. At this point, I'm kind of just walking around to get the map open. Uh, but I guess this means we can head back if need be. Do some backtracking. This elevator does not seem to be working for the time being. But we can open this up. I mean, hey, opening up all the areas possible is going to be really smart early on, I think. Uh, as opposed to when we're being pursued. You never want to be stuck against a dead-end door. I mean, our friend here is kind of proof of that, it seems like. We can climb into the vents, but do we really want to? Answer, absolutely not. Maybe we don't want to say hi. Okay, I guess you can see us right away. All right, well, stealth is dead. You know what? Maybe we just try someplace else. Oh, I guess there is no place else. We can crawl through here, but it probably just goes back to the original spot. All right, so we don't get a bar that tells us when you've seen us, which is going to make stealth extremely difficult. Will you return to your spot? Now I don't know where you are, which makes this a lot more difficult. Then again, maybe you got out of dodge because you just fired some shots and you know that noise is death. Which means I'm just kind of hanging out in your wake. I may have just heard a footstep, but I'm not seeing anybody anywhere. Alright, a whole bunch of new stuffs. And revolver ammo. Does that mean that we're going to get a gun for ourselves at some point? Uh, there we go. Access to you. She was trying to hack the elevator security. Circuits are fried. Easy fix. Just need to find a new data set. Uh huh. She didn't have the know-how, but we do. Oh, nope, she... Oh, wow, wait. That's cool. So you can... I went the wrong way for this. But you can actually run off to go find your buddies. You actually have to go physically get them. I'm out. They heard my footsteps. My... Nope, 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 nope. I guess you didn't hear that one, but I'm content to back away slowly. So you're not confined to that one area. Can't believe we're doing this again. Can I sneak out behind you? There's definitely more. This thing is not operating on the same wavelength as me. I have just reloaded a save because they were not leaving me alone at all. Maybe I can toss a flare to get rid of them? So I have no idea what I'm meant to do. I feel like I should be able to crouch lower than this. Thing is, where would I even throw a flare that would keep them all looking away from me? If I could use it as a distraction. Okay, where are you going, buddy? Using flares. We're 
Oh, it does work as a distraction, but you're not all going towards it. So does that even help me? You're actually... It looked like somebody up there was watching his back as he went. Maybe I can use this opportunity to just up and out. That door not openable. That panel can be interacted with. This, however, is not going to be covered, so we need to not crouch and just keep moving. Alright, so these things are current best friends. We can open that door. You guys are returning! You didn't see anything moving. Shut up. Out and out. Goodbye. Goodbye! Okay, well, you saw us at the last moment, which means you're all heading this way right now. I think she went downstairs. Come on. You even have lines for this. I'm not going down there. No way. She's got your hack tool. It didn't work. We'll find another way out. We've been here too long already. That's reassuring. I was trying to say reassure int. I don't know. The point is, I am both happy. You're not chasing me and not happy because I know why. So what do we do about this? Because it's been a little while since I've seen a save point. Also, I did notice when I reloaded that uh, it does seem to stagger saves automatically. Like, it just keeps a few for you. I feel like I just heard something moving around above me. So let's avoid these things then. Oh, looking up really is important. All right, save. Uh, there's another... Why do we just have openings in the ceilings here? I kind of feel like this place deserved to get C-node. Uh, we can hide in that locker. Is this what we're looking for? No, just some kind of light. Low power. So if we reroute some of the systems, then we can access this terminal. And hack that panel if we get the necessary tool. Okay, so I actually was not wrong before in saying that uh, walking is really sneaking and crouching is pretty much just getting low. So let's watch these vents and try to keep a low profile. The name of the game, I think, is going to be just not drawing attention to ourselves. And it doesn't go down too much farther. Uh, and this elevator isn't working. That would be a convenient way out. Although, the, the thing is, we're trapped between a rock and a hard place. That thing is probably down here. And those guys are up there. And they know we're here now. Oh, I just noticed we've got a revolver. And it's a big one, too. All right, we can select that in the radial menu. I do not like those sounds, but we've got six bullets. Ah, right here, underneath the thing. Thing is, I don't know how much good this is going to be against a Xeno. Which still hasn't been properly revealed, actually. Much like the source material, it's actually still keeping it in shadow. This mysterious thing that's managed to do all of this to this station. And which we haven't really gotten a good look at yet. I guess I'm just glad that it treats it as a horror movie monster and doesn't just act like, Okay, you already know all the lore, you don't care. Uh, revolver, ethanol, bonding agent. I still haven't hit a limit yet. Any reason not to take everything. Works archive. Oh god. The flight recorder. What? What? No. 
all this way and it tells us nothing. We've gotten ourselves into this situation. So many people are dead. And it seems like it didn't even mean anything. The whole reason we're here, just up in smoke immediately. Okay, maybe sticking around was not the right call. I thought I had to hide right away. Device invalid. Well, look, this thing right here is green. Maybe I can open that up. Oh, okay. Okay, but what did that do for me? All right, well, maybe if we move these one by one. I mean, I guess being sealed in is actually a good thing for now. There we go. That's got to be it. Data cell. See how this works. Let's try this thing out. Oh wait. Oh oh, we've got to put it together. Um. Okay, so top left. Okay, and then this thing, and then this thing. Okay, so it's timed, but it's quite an intuitive little mini game. Problem is with all these sirens going off. That's probably not a good thing, and I'm very much noticing that these tables are the right height for hiding under. Who am I kidding? If I remember anything about this game, it's that. You were shot to death. Oh, God. But do you have anything... Useful for us? That's the important thing. That's not good. That's not good. I think that means it's entered the area. Okay, uh, let's try and let's try and do this. Up, oh, where was it? There we go. Okay, uh, there we go. Uh, there we go, and there we go. Man, the more places we have to hide, the better. And there's some lockers back here. Compound B. Ooh, and an ID tag, which again, I've still yet to figure out what they actually do. Could have read the log. That's more scrap. Very aware of how long it's been since I saved, or at least it feels like it. There we go. Make sure we've got that equipped. Okay, we're saving right now. It said it'll tell us if danger is near, so I'm gonna take it at its word, but honestly. This is one of the few times where I feel like such a save system is justified. It's very much incorporated into the overall gameplay, and it's making me feel like I've really gotta... I've really gotta make the right calls here. Everything comes down to judgment, and I can't be too, uh... I, I can't be too careless with it. And they're not so annoyingly placed as to just be checkpoint starvation. At least not so far. That could always change. Uh, you, and you, and you. Okay, tables abound. It's already training me. As soon as I walk into a room, I'm thinking about uh, what structures I can hide within. Archives. 
to W. Chief Porter. Chief, the good news is that I'm about 80% through archiving Sebastopol's internal mail system for the decommissioning. It's been disconnected from Apollo, but I've left the basic messaging system in place for the people still here, so it's not connected to the AI. The bad news is, whoever set it up in the first place skimped on the hardware, and we've had some leaks. I've got Mike Tanaka looking into it now. He's the specialist archivist we called in. Seems to know his stuff. Just thought I'd better give you the heads up in the meantime. Okay. An Outpost in Progress, number one, by Julia Jones. Desolation through isolation. The space station that nobody needed, run by a company we all forgot. Sevastopol is now a backwater. The population is a tenth of the station's optimal capacity. Good thing, too. Docking bays are empty, and the shutters are down on local stores and businesses. The orders for Siegson's cheaply manufactured androids have long since dried up, and the antiquated Apollo governing AI system frequently malfunctions. Oh, joy! Oh, I'm sure that won't come into play at all for our experience. How did we get here? And more importantly, where have billions of dollars of investment gone? My name is Julia Jones. I've lived on Spastable for two months compiling this report for the Colonial Times, discovering the price our second-tier corporations had paid for their overexpansion during the race into the Outer Rim. Let's take all we've got. Should probably work on making some more health as well. From here we can disable the security lockdown. Something tells me that that'll be us shooting ourselves in the foot. So let's look around a little bit more before that. Yeah, see, here's why we look around a little bit more, because we'll be able to get to the other side and not wind up dead against a door. It's kind of something you learn playing survival horror games. Make sure all exits are opened before triggering the obvious trigger. And this elevator is not going to work, is it? Okay, locker over there, tables on either side. We're ready. Yep. Yep! Please get under the table. That's not as under as I would like. Oh my god, get under the table, you idiot. So much for the whole not showing us thing. Okay, we need to get out of here. We need to get out of here and consistently look up. You go this way. Maybe if we head into the vents. Oh god, this feels like such a bad idea. But we can use our gun in vents, which is a bit bittersweet. On the bright side, at least it's more or less impossible to miss. Closest this gets us to the exit, the better. Okay, you. I get the feeling if this thing touches us, uh, health isn't going to be our issue, though. It's probably instant death. Lock her there if things go wrong. I hear you. See, I'm constantly torn between trying to take the route of less visibility and just getting straight out of here as quickly as I can. But I'm using restraint and not running. Problem is, we are now heading back into a fight, I think. Right, we need to use you. We need to use you quickly. Okay, so you, uh, you, and uh, you. God, this is tense. To be honest, I'm not sure which of these things is worse. Or who I'm rooting for down there. <laughs> but I guess it doesn't matter. What can 
we find? I've got to take this opportunity. Everything's an opportunity. Restore power. Where's that thing gone to? There's a thing right behind me. Oh god, this seems so, so dumb. Okay, uh, unstable system. That can be turned off. Air purification, turn that on. Does that mean that the vents are working? Right, get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out. I feel like I can hear it skittering around in the vents. Oh no. Oh, I see what that did. It creates a smoke screen because the vents are open. Okay, if we stay... If we stay quiet... And know where we're moving towards... Then we should be okay, right? Device invalid. I don't feel like I know where I'm going at all, honestly. I mean, I know we, where we have to reach but I don't feel like I know where I'm hiding. There's vents over there. Question now is, are you... Are you out? I killed two of you. And we can search your bodies. Oh, we need ammo. We need ammo. All right, let's do it, quickly. Quick as we can. Uh, uh you, you, you. I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that you can attack us while we're doing this, that there is no pause. Go. Go. Opening doors makes noise, right? Please gift us a save. Well, presumably it manually saves when we go between areas. Yes, there we go. Oh my god, this game is tense. The fact that it gives us a weapon, but we... No, it probably won't work. Hello? My name's Ripley. Amanda Ripley. I need your help. Please take a seat. Someone will be with you shortly. No wonder Seekson is losing the tech race. God, you're deep in the uncanny valley. Look at your texture. Not only do your lips not move when you talk, you can actually, like, see the rubber that doesn't quite fit around your neck. This is what they left as the skeleton crew? I wonder if Samuels would be personally offended by this, which once again, I'm going with the assumption that he's an android, because the British guy is always an android. Is that the excuse you're using for being way, way behind on tech? Still missing some tools that we need. You guys are just chilling out there. Do I want to approach? I'm just under the assumption that no. If we can get back here. What even is my objective right now? Make your way to comms control. Which it tells us generally about on the map where it is, but not what's there until we've actually entered. So, we playing nice? It seems like we are. Keycard. Idle synthetic storage. I can't see anything beyond the glass. I need to get into comms control. It's urgent. That is a restricted area. It's an emergency! Don't you realize what's going on? For your comfort and reassurance, our working Joe synthetics are designed Okay, was that a stomp towards me? The situation in hand. Your registration is almost complete. Forget it. I'll find my own way in. Are you authorized to enforce security? I don't like the way you're looking at me. I don't like you walking towards me either. I'm gonna go this way. Everything's locked. But you don't seem to be chasing me. 
<laughs> I just can't stand the thought of that thing being behind me. Motion tracker. I should have known this was coming. <laughs> See, that's another way that the 70s tech really made... It really made the movie what it was. With the motion tracker, it's so imprecise, although it actually is monitoring for very precise things, that is, uh, micro changes in air density. But it's just one of those ways where, like, the danger is abstracted. Just a blinking light on a screen, rather than anything more complex than that. Alright, let's turn off you. Actually, high network capacity. We could kill the lights. I don't think I want to do that right now. I don't think that would be advisable at this time. Oh, but item maxed. So we have reached the end of our uh, of our inventory space. Let's go ahead and craft another med kit. So you and you and you. Oh, I see. There's a certain number of slots for each component. And there we go. And now I feel a little bit more confident getting into a gunfight. Some kind of tracker. It's been modified. Hold space to use. Okay, so we can pull that out at any time. Huh? My god! I'm lost. No. No problem. God, I hate these things so much. But this seems to be working now. Door override. Use. I've put a manual lock on the door leading upstairs. Don't want any accidents until we figure out what's going on here. And error. No such file. Our manifesto. First published in Ion Siegson, February 2115. We don't want to show you a new world. We want to discover it with you. Here at Siegson, every new technology, research project, and discovery is driven to find real-world applications to help you. We hope you'll join us for the journey. Tomorrow Together, number one. Siegson's journey into colonial space. An official history by Sebastian Sieg. First printed in Ion Siegson. Every company in this universe is built by some delusional billionaire. The world of fiction is crazy. 2034 changed everything. The advent of faster-than-light travel put Siegson, then known as Siegenson, on the path to success. The race into space began in earnest, and under the steady hand of our founder, Josiah Sieg, our company was primed and ready for the years that followed. Siegenson built the components that enabled ships to extend colonial space beyond the Sol system. As history relates, Wayland Corp. was reluctant to share its FTL technologies with other corporations. Fortunately, Josiah C. was on hand to speculate, innovate, and produce. Without Siegen Son, the skies would have looked very different indeed. That is crazy to think, only a decade in the future. You know, speaking of this general time period in horror, it does kind of make me think that maybe the isolation of this station, roll credits, might actually be deliberate. Maybe they do know and they just want to keep it contained. Okay, let's override you. Wonder if our buddy's going to have a problem with that. No, he seems to have disappeared into the void, fine by me. Does the Xenomorph actually attack them? Make a note of the locker at the bottom of the stairs. And at the top and the save point. Exulant. These things are just far enough apart to be an issue and just close enough together that hopefully they won't get frustrating. Uh, but it says please wait. I know I've saved it the same one more than once, so I, I guess there's maybe like a cooldown. It might depend on the difficulty. Very dark. Very dark. 
course we want to be able to open as many of these things as possible before the danger enters. Got the sound design in this, just everything clanking away at all times. Uh, sterilization showers. The marker on the edge of the motion tracker points to your objective. Oh, that's cool. So it's not just telling me about dangers, it's telling me where to go. Noisemaker V1, that's probably better than a flare. Uh, and we can view that in the radial menu. Well, we have tons of components, so there's no reason not to build it. This homemade device continually emits a high-pitched noise when triggered, which will attract a lot of attention. If placed, this device has a handy four-second delay before it activates, so presumably we can put it down or throw it. There we go. We'll probably want to have one of each type of thing on us at all times. And this functions as a convenient parallel hallway to the main one. All of this is so physical. Everything is a process. I just heard this thing make a noise. What does it mean when that directional thing does that? Does that mean that there's something off that way for the motion tracker to pick up? I do not really necessarily like this depth of field when it's like that. Though? Okay, there's an android in there. charge pack. I'm not sure what exactly I did to get that moving. Okay, but we can loot these things for whatever is inside of them, including a whole crate. What have you got for us? Okay, revolver ammo is going to be a big deal. We've got a full reload. Although, you know, as before, I'd prefer not to have to use it. Oh, you're a different minigame. Okay, so we got to stop you on the right thing, which might be quite difficult in a stressful situation. Especially that last one. That's the thing, is that, like, these minigames all seem really simple, but they do add just a bit more depth to being able to get through things, and, well, when you're being pursued, it's probably a whole different game. All of you... Okay, we can go through here. Let me pass. It's me, Hughes. Don't you recognize me? Listen to me. We've got to reestablish long range communications. You're becoming hysterical. Get back. I'm warning you. Tut, tut. This is all this anarchy. This was coming. Remember before when I said that the scary thing about these androids is their inhumanity? It's not just their corpse-like appearance, it's the fact that in doing that they literally don't know what they're doing. Their artificial intelligence is not that intelligent. And so once that guy became a threat, it didn't matter the context, he was dead. And judging by its eyes, they are Probably in combat mode now. Okay, you're gonna be an issue. Can we sneak around the crates? We cannot. So maybe we've gotta deactivate it. We've got some revolver ammo, so that's nice. You're moving about at that other edge. Uh, but we can check this. I'm assuming you can't kill us while we're reading. That's the only thing that seems to stop 
outside noises. Your log message. Sensitive corporate information has been automatically detected in a Sebastolink message recently sent from this terminal. This event has been logged by Apollo on behalf of Siegson. If you have any further questions, please talk to your line manager or your nearest synthetic Siegson representative. And error operation not permitted. And somebody else tried to do something that they stopped. Apollo's eye. Riggs, are you still working down in Siegson Communications? Remember that trouble you got into last year? The trouble I helped you out of? Well, it's time to repay the favor. One of my colleagues has been looking into some of the import documents and found a few problems. He's new, so he doesn't understand how we do things on Sebastopol, and he's threatening to go to waits about it. This could hurt us all, so I need you to keep an eye on him. See if anything interesting comes up. Apollo has cameras everywhere. It just needs someone to tell it where to point to. His name is Daniel Holden. Lives in Josiah Sig Executive Apartments 651. If this all goes well, I might have some more work for you. We could clean up here. So, corruption and abuse of authority, and everyone else just trapped in the middle. Oh, and then malfunctioning AI and an alien, so really problems in all four corners. And nothing else here. I would really, really like a save. You're out there. I don't know if you'll be able to see me through the glass. Let's take all we can. It does seem to be allowing us to use a lot of scrap. Uh, oh, camera feed. We could disable it from here. Error, and does that mean that you know where I am now? Okay, I was worried you would all start coming towards me. Uh, maybe somebody else is coming for it. Okay, nope, 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 goodbye. Later. Later, Tater. Oh, I think you, I think you maybe saw me. I think you maybe saw me. Nope, we're leaving. Goodbye. And we'll just, uh, wait in the vent until such time when we can go. Come on. It only makes sense to wait here. If I had gotten out faster, you wouldn't have noticed me. can use the motion tracker in here, but it looks like inside the vent, maybe we're getting, like, interference? Okay, that's open. You're there? Oh god, we, we need to go. Yep. Stay back, use. I feel like there might have been more I could scavenge, but, uh, sometimes I'm just grateful to be gone. Of course, we also have to be mindful of where we're actually heading. You guys. Lockers down here. So you did take damage, which means even if we get back to you, we're not getting out of here, are we? Oh, we can enter here. Okay, we need to work out how we're getting through this with all these guys walking around. Oh, and sometimes our tuner will be required even to get into a computer. Okay, uh, you, you, and you. <laughs> Admin rights granted. Well, that was easy. Torrance hail. Oh, this is new. Not only recent, we were there when it was recorded. A whole bunch of people trying to do things they didn't have permission to do. This is Verlaine on the Torrens. What the hell just happened? Sebastopol! Did any of our EVA team make it on board? Please respond. We've taken damage in the explosion and are pulling out of Sebastopol space. Systems will be down while we repair. I can't say for how long. 
This is Waits, Colonial Marshal at Sebastopol Station. We have a serious situation here. Non-local comms are down, and we need you to send out an emergency message. Do you read me? Repeat, our ranged communications are down, and we need help. Stand off and send help. They tried to warn us. Oh, that is so creepy. We heard the message, and if only we could have understood it. None of this would be happening. Of course, this is probably going to be buzzing with guys. and eh, not really. We're currently above them. Access external comms link. I actually don't see anyone. Uh, maybe we should have a look at what systems are here. Uh, we can turn off air purification to get some power back. Oh, and not everything uses only one. Uh, so we'll do that. And maybe route that to something else if need be. Find an alternate communications terminal. Well, here would be the place to do that. But I guess it probably doesn't want us going out there. I wonder, how fast do these guys move in a chase? Are we better off just running through? There are vents. Oh, hold right mouse button to focus vision while holding the thing. So we can sort of move our attention between things. This takes us up here. Question is, what are we climbing on to? Huh, long time no see. Okay, well, at least we have the option. We know it gets us back to the stairs, although that will give them time to head us off. Still, it's a very slow kind of horror, isn't it? One that's uh, very contemplative when it's not the terror of the alien being directly on top of us. And we can see up through the floor grates, I wonder, can they? Answer, I'm assuming not. That would defeat the purpose of coming down here. Right there, which means we want to take this way. Please stay crouched, please stay crouched, please stay crouched. Howdy! That worked? I mean, okie dokie, artichokey, never mind, no it didn't. Okay, well, goodbye. Yeah, it could require your attention or it could not. Really, there's no way of knowing. Well, the thing says to go this way, so it's what we're doing. Why is the music doing this? I turned around for a second, and it seemed like he stopped at his area of duty. This looks like a place that could have communications equipment. Uh, question now is, how do we get in? Supplies. We need to treat and pack the And injury. the Torrens? 
The radio is broken. I can't contact Valet. We're on our own. Shit. Okay. I'll come to you. Keep your eyes open. I'll send a transit car to you. Okay, I'm not sure why the frame rate tanked there. But uh, should we just should we just try to run or should we hide under a table? Well, it says we're going this way. Open up. And let's get out. Goodbye. Could have been real bad if it had been a dead end. Yep, they're all around us. But anytime they can't directly see us, we should stop running. They're all over and they're coming towards me. You there? Let me in. At least if we're down here, we're safe. Or er, presumably, in this. The alien can be active at this moment, too. I wonder, will it attack the androids? Well, it sounds like they know I'm here, at the very least. In fact, they may even be walking right on top of me. And they're on the hunt. Oh god, where do I go from here? Uh, nope, we went... A bit farther than I would have liked. This way. And we out. And we saving, in fact. Okay, their dialogue said... Their dialogue indicated that it knew where we were. But I don't think it did. Or at least it didn't come for me. Later, taters. Those sounds. Return through Siegs and Comms to escape. Okay, so let's study this map. Best bet is going to be to go into the vents around and to the left. Assuming that's not just a wall, assuming we can actually get through there. That should be our best bet. And we also have to be very aware of the fact that there's this weird thing going on with the vent entrances where we seemingly cannot enter if we're too close to them. We want to be a step back. I'm hearing things on the motion tracker, but I'm not seeing things. That looked like it was moving way too fast to be an android. It's right through here. Oh no, we gotta make a uh, right? Yep, and there's you. You saw us come out. Well, you guys are gonna be a problem now. But if we can just run out, then we should be okay. Yes, through here. No reason why we need to deal with you guys any more than needed. The problem is this thing... It offers very little information. It does not tell us the level you're on. We might have to fight this guy. He's right in our way. I'm hoping to save the ammo, but I don't think we'll be able to. We could use our noisemaker, potentially. Problem is, if you come this way and spot me... There's really not going to be a better way than this, is there? We could maybe try to make a run for it, or just follow you. That'll probably be the safest thing. That sounds very, very stompy. 
Okay, so the alien arriving could really potentially complicate this. But if we wait for you to turn around and go back, we could get through here without wasting ammo. You always know a working Joe. There you go. And here we go. Oh, look at all that. Oh, this stuff is all open now. Somebody's calling out, talking about an explosion. I'm a Let's Player, I have to look around. I have to look around as much as I want to just get mine and go. Okay. Folder corrupted. Call log. What's going on up there? I've been waiting for a call and... Please stand by. Your call is being rerouted. Hello? My working Joe is acting strangely. I won't listen to anything I... Please stand by. Your call is being rerouted. I need help. I'm trapped in my apartment. There's an android outside and... Please stand by. Your call is being rerouted. Calling for help from the same system that's trying to kill them. Uh. Put me through to the marshal's office. It's an emergency. Someone's robbing my store. He's gone. It killed him. I think it's still here. Well, I guess they took care of it then. You're right outside. And stopped. So if I lean out... Are you peeking in the door? Doesn't seem so. Uh -huh. It's some kind of control room, so there's got to be something of use. Just the ever-present sounds of those wailing sirens. The lights flickering on the walls. Yep, this is alien. Meanwhile, I'm just crawling about in this space that was never meant to be used this way. Smoke bomb. Smoke bomb. That'll be useful against human enemies. Wait. Oh, you spotted me through there. You piece of crap. Okay. Coming through here was not smart. Hide. Hide. This is a bit of an obvious hiding spot. Thankfully, you don't seem to be all that persistent in pursuit. Oh, no, never mind. Here you come. I'm gonna put that away just in case. Yeah. I'm sure this is a misunderstanding. This thing is beeping. I put it away so that it wouldn't make noise. Oh, two of you came. And this one looks to be a little bit smarter. Come out, please. Not good. Is the other one still here? Yes, it is. Good luck with that. Just wait for those doors to close. And I wonder if that alters your patrol route. We can climb into the vents from here. Maybe that'll be the way to go? Oh, for a whole bunch of scrap, which we have finally maxed out. Okay, uh, how do we make a smoke bomb? One, one, one. And we want you. We always want to have at least one of everything. If we climb into here, we've got to see where it leads. Up? What could possibly be up? We've got to open this from this side. Ah, so this would not have been accessible otherwise. Oh! This is one of these! So we could open them from this side with an ion cutter. But otherwise, we can do it from inside the vents. Well, I'm just undone a whole bunch of progress, but maybe it's for the better. Since you guys... Oh no, you're still on your same path. Out you go. Please don't see me. This way. Oh, great. Well, now we've got to deal with you. So, what's the best way of handling that? Probably do what we were gonna do before. 
coolant maintenance. Do I even care? Let's check our map. Uh, could actually provide a quicker way out. <laughs> Let's take a shortcut, gang. Let's use this motion tracker to figure out where you are. God, it sounds like you're right behind me. You're right out there. It may be more expedient just to run. Nope. Why do I keep leaning out? You're not coming towards me, though. You had not spotted me. You've got to take it slow. But that's how we save ammo. You know what? Never mind. Yep. How about you guys come this way, then? How about we just do some good old-fashioned shukerage? Oh, but you're actually being kind of smart right now. We can get out through here. Oh, no. Oh, it doesn't even matter. Okay, we got to we gotta mash to get you off of us. That did nothing to you, but I see you've got that signature white blood. I just don't see how we could get through there with that guy standing there. I shouldn't have even expended the ammo. I was hoping I could at least stagger you. But elevator. Let's go. We have plenty of components to keep making hell. Let's make sure we're topped off on ammo. You did not have to drop all of your rounds right there. It's our ammo situation. Oh, we got to reload individually, holding down R. Okay, but at least you don't actually drop all those rounds. I... I need to save. All that just to get right back here. But now we've got the tool. And that presumably means we can open up more to help us. Are you going to be entering? Because if so, I'm just going to skedaddle. I'm just going to skedaddle. I think I'm ready to end this part. And we need to go. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, but we... Uh, passcode required. I was really looking forward to it, and it looks like there's some plans we could use. We're not safe even here. We're not safe even here. Save. Yes. And, uh... I really don't feel like... Stopping right now. Should I get in a locker? Station serving seeks and communication technologies, tech support services. That's more than one. That's a whole bunch of things all at once. And just like No, that's a person. That's a person, alright. Okay, so we are going to So we are going to Simed Tower. Which means... Okay, luckily that's already open. So we don't have to worry about the people patrolling around, which means we save ammo and they save lives. Goodbye. Oh my god, this game is so unbearably stressful. While still being so slow, you know? Without making it too action-y like Aliens, you know, the sequel. I'm so glad that it's kept not only the spirit of the architecture and the vibe but also the spirit of how you survive it. The gameplay feels like the movie feels, and that is something really special. Because it's hard to translate a horror movie to a game. It really is. Station serving the San Cristobal Medical Facility and seeks and synthetics. Ripley, Taylor's over here. She looks like how I Ripley. feel. Is that Ripley? How is she? She needs treatment. Medical's nearby, but I didn't want to leave her. I'll go and investigate. See what I can find. You stay with her. I'll try to repair the radio booster. What if this creature shows up? Hide. Unauthorized security breach detected. 
All transit shut down by order of Apollo. Well, there goes our backtracking. Which means, as usual, the only way through is forward. Seems a little redundant, but you get the idea. This game is just so ahead of its time. When you're the master of your own destiny, the more control you have in a horror game, the more dynamic systems there are to help you in that, the more powerless you sort of feel. It's a game where you really have to consider everything and choose your moves carefully, which is exactly in the spirit of Alien. I do remember this game having a reputation for being somewhat long, so I'm probably going to make these parts longer as well. Uh, but honestly, that's no problem for me, because I do not feel like stopping right now. And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.